Hi, this is Russell Stannard from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is a really quick video that's going to take you through Screencast O Matic. Screencast O Matic is a free screen capture tool that's great if you want to produce videos where you're talking over your PowerPoints or talking over images or talking over documents and turn them into videos. I'm going to quickly take you through all the key functionality in Screencast O Matic and let's get started. So I've just written the word Screencast-O-Matic into Google and there it is on the screen. Click on the button here. And there's this, one of the th really good things about Screencast-O-Matic is that you don't even need to sign up. You can actually just use the recorder. So what we're going to do now is click on Start Recording. And what's going to happen is it brings me to another page and I simply click on Launch Recorder. Now what will happen is a very small app will be downloaded onto your computer. There it is and I will need to click on Yes to launch it and now a kind of app will open up on the screen that will allow me to record and you can see that app has now opened onto the screen. Now one thing that a lot of people have problems with when they use Screencast-O-Matic is that they don't understand that if you minimize the page this recorder will still be available the recorder is literally like a separate window and here I'm resizing it so if I just come up here and minimize my page you'll see that the recorder still stays on the screen what I'm going to do now is open up a PowerPoint presentation and let's imagine that we just wanted to record this PowerPoint slide well what I can do now is just simply mark out the area that I want to record so I'm just going to do this as an area just make it fit nicely and then I can start recording. So now with the uh, settings here, now one of the things that you can also do is include a webcam and we'll come back and look at that. But let's look first of all at doing a basic recording. It's also important to make sure that you've got connected to the correct microphone that you want to use. So I'm going to be using my uh, webcam microphone for this. Okay, and just checking that it's working and that's fine. And then all I need to do is click on this button here and start recording. So what are the key benefits of emailing? Well, I'm gonna talk about the emailing system that I use and talk about three really key benefits of working with a emailing system. Okay, I'll stop there. Obviously I could carry on. Obviously I could click on another slide now and just carry on the recording. So you're not re restricted to just simply recording one slide, but I'm just trying to demo how easy it is to use this technology. And if I click on done now, and I can actually play that recording back and there you can see that it's ready. So oh, what are the key benefits of emailing? Well, I'm gonna talk about. Okay, and so you can just see how easy it is to make a recording. Now, the quality of that recording wasn't very good because I was using the microphone on my webcam. Obviously, Screencast-O-Matic is a free tool, so it's not super high quality, but it's not bad at all for a free technology. And the great thing is I could now save that recording onto my desktop. So I just click here and then choose the name, and I'm just gonna call it uh, Test Recording recording TTV so I'm just going to write test recording TTV and uh, I'm going to save it onto my desktop I can change that if I want to and click on publish and that recording is now being saved onto my desktop now if I was to quickly to go to the desktop of my computer so just going to close a few windows down there is that recording let's click on it it opens up as an mp4 file I can play it straight away in Windows oh, what are the key benefits and there it is emailing? well I'm going to talk about the emailing and system and start etc so you can see really how key. see how useful screencast matic is now let's start to look at some of the other options when working with it now I'm going to take you through the process of doing another screen capture recording using screencast matic so I'm going to click here on the button launch recorder this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk over a map. So I'm going to imagine a different context. Rather than doing a PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to want to describe some information in a map. What we're going to do this time, though, is we're going to look at the settings in the recorder. And we're actually going to choose, as you notice here, you've got screen, webcam, or both. So you can use Screencast-O-Matic just to record your webcam, or you can just record the screen of your computer, or you can do both. Now when you do both, you have various options. I'm going to choose this one here where the webcam will be down in the right-hand corner. Now just like before, I'm going to minimize the screen and open up an image. So I've got this map here. Just going to resize the recorder so that it fits nicely around that map. Okay, that will do. And because I know that the webcam is going to appear in the right-hand corner here, I'm just going to make that a little bit of space. And now I'm going to click on the record button. 
and hopefully it should start recording. One little tip when you click, just like you checked your uh, audio, make sure that you click on your webcam and choose the webcam that you're using. So I'm going to click on here, Logitech, uh, and use that. Now click on the record button. I'm just going to do a little bit of a presentation. Here we have a map of Italy. Uh, to the north, Italy borders with uh, France and Switzerland. It also shares a border with Austria and another border with Slovenia. Okay, just very quickly, finished. Okay, so I'm going to click on done and we can see that recording straight away. You can see here that I'm down in the right hand corner. So when you're recording the screen, you need to think about uh, obviously where you're going to place uh, the recording. And again, what I'm going to do is just save that on my computer. So I click on uh, save. In fact, let's just before we do that, let's just play the recording and make sure it's working. Here we have a map of Italy. Uh, to the north. Okay, so that's absolutely fine, no problem there. So we're going to publish it. Uh, we'll give it a file name, so we're going to call this TTV Test 2. And we're going to save that again on the desktop. So just going to simply keep that in the same place as the other file. Don't forget, you can browse and put it into another folder if you want. I'm then going to click on Publish. And again, the video will be published and let's play that video back and see how it's worked. So we've got a second test on our screen here. Just click on it and let's see how that video plays. Here we plays. have a map of Italy uh, to the north. And you can see that I'm on the webcam and the, the video is here. There are limitations. It's a free tool. I've already talked about obviously the quality of the recording has not been quite as good as if you paid for a paid tool. And obviously you haven't got the option, for example, to manipulate where the webcam is on the screen. You have some options, uh, but those are very limited when you're actually setting the recording up. But you can see then that if you want to do a recording, include yourself on the webcam. One tip to keep in mind is to try to remember to give yourself some space on on the right hand side of the screen when you're doing the recording because that way the webcam won't cover the actual screen capture. Okay, so let's look at one final example. So again, we're gonna launch the recorder. What we're gonna do this time is talk over a table. So this time, because obviously we can talk over PDF files and images and PowerPoint presentations and basically anything that's on the screen of our computer. But what the, I'm gonna do in this particular example is imagine that I'm doing a teacher training course. So I've got an image here, which is all about Bloom's taxonomy. So I'm gonna just minimize uh, the screen capture or screencast o -matic. and I'm just going to again just mark the area now I'm going to turn the webcam off of this and simply just do the screen and I'm going to mark this area here again just going to make sure that I've got the sizes right so just bring that down a little bit and do the same here I'm going to just bring that up a little bit and then just bring that down make that sure that that all fits together Good, okay, that'll do for the screen. So this time I'm just gonna click on record. Here we have an image of Bloom's taxonomy. And when we talk about Bloom's taxonomy, we normally talk about lower order thinking skills and higher order thinking skills. The lower order thinking skills, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I'm just gonna stop, click on done. This time though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that video onto YouTube. So I'm gonna click on upload to YouTube. Now I need to add my YouTube account, but I've actually done this. So if you click here, you'll notice that my teacher training videos account is already connected. But I can click on add account and then add a new account. I would have to launch the browser and simply put in the Gmail account because every Gmail account has a YouTube channel and of course my password. Now I've already done that, so I won't do that, but it would be that simple. Simply just add your Gmail and add your password. I'm gonna click here and I'm simply gonna publish that to my YouTube channel. And because my YouTube channel is already connected to Screencast-O-Matic, in other words, I've already put those details in, immediately that is done. And I can actually click here and click on copy link. Now that's great because if I now opened up my Google Chrome or any browser, 
and simply pasted in that link that I've just copied it will actually take me to that video that's already been uploaded onto YouTube. Now, it may take a few seconds. There Here we it have is. an image of Bloom's taxonomy. And when we talk about Bloom's taxonomy, we normally talk about lower order thinking skills. And so you can see how easy it is to upload a video that you've created in Screencast-O-Matic and share it onto your YouTube channel. Now, there are just one or two additional features to keep in mind. I'm not going to show you this. I've showed you the most important things is that you can record your screen, use it for webcam, use it for both. You can save the videos onto your computer or you can save your videos onto YouTube. You can also save your videos onto what is called screencast o -matics own server where they allow you to save those videos I'm presuming that in that case you'll be limited to a certain number of videos that you can save in that space and the way that would work would be exactly the same as YouTube you would need to obviously add in your details connect your video to your screencast o -matic, uh, space that's available to you and then save your videos up there obviously in most cases most people would either want to save their videos onto their own computer or uh, save the videos onto YouTube. I uh, really hope you found that those videos useful. That was working with Screencast O Matic. Uh, please come to teachertrainingvideos.com if you want more free videos, lots of videos on different technologies. You can sign up to the newsletter that gives you updates on all the new videos I've added up or any free webinars or webinars or courses I'm running, software, etc. If you're not interested, just click on the cross. You've got all this content here, a couple of really popular sections. First of all, the top 12 videos uh, shows you the most common or the videos that are the most popular on the website. Uh, Russell's five minute blog is very short videos that just show you a few key technologies and how you can use those in your teaching and learning. And if you click on any of the uh, videos, all you need to do is when you come down, click on the video and obviously click to watch it full screen. It's a much more enjoyable experience. Finally, if you really want to keep up with my work, then please follow me on YouTube because I put lots of videos onto YouTube that you won't find in the website. Thank you very much.